So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen one coding exercise, the hurdle race, right? And we are implementing these exercises on Rebox World One. X, you know, that's a, this is a website to learn Python for beginners actually, right? Now in this video we will be discussing one more exercise, right? Same, the hurdle race, but this is going to be something different. Here we are going to use while loop. In the previous video we have seen that exercise, we have solved that thing using for loop. So I recommend to watch out that video first because that would be really beneficial for you guys, uh, you know, if you are going to solve this exercise, right? Now let me just show you. Okay, so you have to search hurdle race in Rebox world and you can click on the first link and now here see, okay, hurdle race. now. It is some hint like what you need to know the function move turn left we have already used in the previous video. Now you have to be aware about because in this video we will be using these conditions like front is clear, wall in front, at goal, these functions right. And we will use a while loop and if statement. So these are some hint and see in hurdle here you have to select hurdle 3 right. It is already selected in my case hurdle 3 right. Now what is the case, see this is the program we have written in the previous case, right, using for loop. Now this is going not going to work in this video because what is the scene here, see if you run this code with this hurdle race then see I hit a wall because at jump function first of all we are going to move but here we cannot move because we have wall in front of us. Right now we have wall, we cannot move even a, even one step. So you have to turn left and move in upward direction, right. So this is not going to work, this is for sure, right. But the problem, one more problem is what, see now hurdle, this, these hurdles are changing whenever you will reload this game, see. Now at this point of time, we have hurdles, four hurdles here and four hurdles here, right. If you again, like if I run this and if I again reload this game, then now three hurdles are here, then one, then two. So every time you are going to reload the game, then these hurdles would be changing. So we don't know where the hurdle would be in the next, at next time, right? And how many iteration you need, how many jump or how many jump you need, how many iteration you need. Because in the previous case, we were sure like six iteration we need, six jump, that's it. We have used for loop. So that is why when you don't know how many jump you need, how many iteration you need, of this function jump function or you can say walk function this function then we know yeah why loop right like see if I run this then it will give error and again if I reload this game if I press this back button then see now hurdles 1 2 3 only 4 hurdles are there so these are changing every time so we don't know how many times we have to jump the wall right that is why one hint is what while loop we use, if statement we use and you have to use some condition like you have to uh, check like wall in front or not, maybe front is clear or not or at goal, you are at goal or not, right or maybe negation of these functions, right. So these are some hint. Now pause the video and try this out. Be honest, don't look the solution. Pause the video and try this out, right. Okay, I hope now you have done this. Now see. We cannot use this for loop, right? Now, obviously, turn right function will be using here. This jump function also will be using here. But there is some, you know, slight difference in this jump function. That also I'll show you what is the difference. But here we'll be using while loop. Now, in while loop, here we put some condition. This. No, the, the, the statement within this while loop would be executed until this condition is true. So we know we have here a function inbuilt, inbuilt at goal while but not we cannot write while at goal we have to write while not at goal right sorry it's g o a l right while not at goal this is inbuilt so it's good for us otherwise we can take a variable just like game over variable in previous one of my previous video we have also seen game over set the game over to false 
then while not game over and then within this while loop you have to flip that variable right to exit from this while loop something like this but we have here at goal function so directly we can use that thing right this is simple for us so while not at goal we have to now directly we cannot like write down jump no now check we have to check so we have to put some if condition if wall is in front like here we don't have wall in front so we can directly move so maybe you can say like move you can directly write here move move and then we can check if wall in front then jump rather than move you have to jump on that wall right but maybe sometime if next time like if next time i reload this game then okay we don't have wall at this time also in front because we can move one step but suppose next time i reload this game now the see now this point of time we cannot even move a single step because wall is there so we cannot write down move first of all so first check if this function we can use directly like from this this thing if wall in front if this is the case then if wall in front then jump just call the function jump this function we have you used and described in the previous video right but you have to modify this function see if wall in front then call jump function so control would be here right okay let's first of all write down one more else in else simply move that's it if wall is in front so you have to jump else move very simple okay now let's run this maybe you think it will work let's run this step by step this step through option first control would be here while not at goal this condition is true we are not at goal because goal is here let's click this again now if wall in front this would be checked let's run this sorry step then jump so control would be here where we have defined the function jump so in jump first statement we have move so let's click here and see ouch i hit a wall because we cannot move even as one even single step because the wall is there in front of us so you have to turn what you have to turn left and then move so we will be just stop this game and just modify this function rather than move now that's fine obviously if wall is in front so we cannot move right so jump function you have to modify that you have to write down here turn left if you move this move and turn left then then move then turn right move turn right move and then turn turn left now this is the jump function here for this program right okay now now it will work fine now let's do this step two while not at goal if wall in front right now wall is not in front because we have reloaded the scheme so it will be moving to the else part so move again check while not at goal move now wall in front yes now jump so to the jump function turn left move turn right then turn right function would be called because we have defined this function like this right so see this turn left again while not at goal yes wall in front yes jump go to jump function turn left move turn right now call turn right function three time turn left is turn the turn right function simple then again turn right then move then turn left now i hope now you can easily do this okay now see turn left then move turn left and now check the condition now we are at goal so check the condition the condition is not true exit from the program exit from this loop now see you will see this this revoke is at correct position x and y position right i hope you got this 
if you stop this and reload this game then see this time this is a different game right so you can run this directly and yeah this will work for this also so for two to three time you can just reload the game and try this out right so this is the exercise using while loop the previous one was using for loop now i hope you are clear with why, when we'll be using for loop and when we'll be using while loop because here we don't know how many jump we have to do how many times these statements whatever you will write in while loop like jump statement that would be iterated we don't know so that is why we use while loop here right so that's it for this video now in the next video we'll be seeing one more hurdle that is something different and little bit tough right so first please watch out the previous video and this video then the next video would be very easy for you guys so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye